So to respond to Giovanni's claims, one of his first claims he made was that there's an, um, that there was a lack of uh, effect, um, evidence that this would be um, academically this law would um, that more regulation would provide effective results. The problem is that there is inaccurate data on this subject. The Coalition for Responsible Home Education says a variety of studies have shown that of homeschooled students' academic performance have conclusively shown that homeschooled students can succeed academically. However, there have been no studies of homeschooled students' academic performance that have been used of representative samples rather than recruiting volunteer participants. Further, the study shows that participants are inevitably from wealthier, better educated, more intact families, meaning they will likely have scored well and above average regardless of the educational options their parents chose for them. Data from the National Center of Education Statistics suggests that the homeschool population is significantly more diverse than the samples commonly used in studies of homeschool achievement, meaning that these studies will likely miss whole swaths of homeschoolers. To continue, what these studies show is that homeschool children in wealthier, better educated families with driven and motivated parents, the sort who would volunteer their studies to children's academics, <clears throat> the sort that would volunteer study for studies of their child's academic performance, tend to score well above the public score average, as should be expected. They do not show that homeschool children as a whole score above average or that educational neglect does not occur in homeschool settings. So, test scores may not improve, but addressing, uh, addressing abuse is extremely critical to the law we are proposing. In states with more rigorous education regulation, official. Oh, sorry, that was wrong. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Forgive me. In regards to parents' rights, parents' rights end when abuse begins. R. L. Stoller, why I blame homeschooling, not just my parents, from homeschoolersanonymous.org. He himself was a homeschool student who grew up in an abusive family. Parents emphasize their rights to raise their children however they want, but as a society, we have already decided that parental rights end where abuse begins. So Giovanni also made an assumption that this law cannot improve home life, but he didn't provide any sources. I find that a very problematic um, assumption. So my issue here is to meant to protect those that are at risk for abuse and who may not be getting the same education that those who are provi um, being provided in these uh, studies that show, you know, homeschoolers are providing, uh, doing well in the ACTs or the SETs, this law is meant to protect those who are not in those same studies. These are the people that are suffering from education and neglect, who are suffering from abuse, as me and my partner have provided examples of, of uh, Rashawn I. Jones, who died of, I, I forget the name he gave, but it was of, um, the, ch of the child, the woman who was tied to her bed and died in the fire. There are instances of abuse happening in homeschool. There are instances of educational neglect happening in homeschool. This law is a sensible reaction, is a sensible thing to put in place to prevent these acts, to ensure that we can prevent another Rashana Jones, to prevent another girl who chained to her bed who died in the fire. I don't know your name. In conclusion, we need to adopt this law because it is sensible for educational concerns and for the child's safety. Thank you.